Now here's another little thing. If you guys want to inspire your group, and seriously inspire them, because there is a little trick to inspiring your group. Everybody says, well, is it the incredible motivation talks that you get and stuff like that? Sure, that could be inspiring. But if what you're saying is not matching what's with what's going on, <laughs> then you're not very inspiring. All the way to the way your waistline looks, all the way to the way your face looks, to what's happening around your life. Why was Mark Hughes inspiring? Because one, my pitch. But pretty soon, everything that I was pitching, I started doing. My, when I first got Herbalife started, all I had was a white jacket and a nice little pair of black pants and a red tie. And I felt it was so cool, that white jacket, those black little pants and that red tie. Oh, plus I had, in my little office, I had white carpeting. I don't know why I thought white carpeting was cool because about three weeks into the program, everybody had stepped on it so much, the office really looked ugly, okay? But I had this beautiful, and by the way, I still have, I got a, for the very first time, about six months ago, after 16 years, I bought a white jacket again. <laughs> with some black pants. But I'll tell you one thing I didn't get was a red tie. Because I don't want to ever remember what that outfit was like again. And I kept wearing that outfit and wearing that outfit, and I finally got, and I was pitching, 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 and I finally got myself a black velvet coat. I'll never forget getting that black velvet coat, and everybody in Herbalife all of a sudden had a black velvet coat. It was amazing. Doug was getting one, Dennis was getting one, and everybody's getting a black velvet coat all of a sudden, just because I had changed my clothes. And i never forget, I drove up in my brand new El Dorado. And all of a sudden, everybody wanted brand new Cadillacs. See, I didn't just tell my group to go, go, go. I kept going, going, going myself. I always outproduced them at the meetings. I always brought more people to the meetings than they did. I always outsold more retail than they did. I was outdoing them and everything. Why? Because through example is how you're inspiring. If you want to just go out there and pitch, go ahead. But if you pitch, and you start making things reality, you'll become inspiring. That is inspiring. What has inspired so many people around me? Mark Hughes keeps going. Then it was my very first condo. No, none of my guys had ever seen a beautiful condo. I had that little rinky-dink condo on the beach and stuff like that. But to me, it was like a giant mansion. That thing was big enough. I mean, we could fit that in my wife's bathroom today, okay? But to me, it was like the biggest mansion that had ever been around. Keep working on yourself and keep improving yourself. You heard it all said by every single person that was up here, okay, that you don't just tell your group, go, group, go. So it starts all the way down at the bottom. Alan was brilliant at talking to you about promotion. If you want to promote anything, guess what you do first? You don't just promote it. First you qualify for the promotion yourself, and then you promote it. Because if you do it yourself, it's going to be more attractive to your people. So you want lots of people to go on vacation? If you guys want to be on vacation, first get on vacation. You want lots of people to be on vacation? Qualify for vacation, and then show them the vacation. And pretty soon, a lot of your people will be on vacation. And pretty soon, all of those people will show their people about vacation. So if you want things to get better, keep improving yourself. And that means for all you guys. That means for all of you guys. You want to get bigger? You got to become bigger yourself. So you don't just go, group, go. Go, group, go. You keep going, 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 going yourself. And let me tell you, it will go. How do you keep inspired? I can't remember who said it in the meeting and stuff like that. It was Alan Lorenz, okay? He says, the way I keep inspired is from the new stories. New stories meaning he's getting new retail. Stories meaning he's getting new distributors. When that's happening to him, he keeps inspired. But if you just keep trying to squeeze your organization into a million dollars without keep 
keeping inspired yourself by the own amount of retail you do, the own amount of recruiting you do, then you're trying to squeeze your organization into a million dollars by telling them, you guys do it, I don't gotta do it. Can you make a little bit of money that way? Yes. Can you even make a lot of money that way? Yes, it's even worse when you're making a lot of money that way, and then all of a sudden you go on no-go mode. And you just tell your group, go, you gotta go, you gotta go, and, that, and in the beginning, you went, 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 went yourself, and then pretty soon all you're doing to your group is saying, go, 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 and that makes you more money, go, 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 and that makes you more money, and pretty soon for the next couple of years, that's all you're doing is saying, go, 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 and pretty soon you start getting dissatisfied and pretty soon you start saying, I wonder why my check's not going up, and I wonder why it's not growing. Your group at some point's gonna kinda get to where they want to be. And go, 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 you can't squeeze any more out of it. So if you wanna get some more out of it, you gotta become more yourself. And that means constant retailing, constant recruiting,